hey guys welcome back to another video so today in this video we will try to fix or we will fix the most complicated error that is 0x00001 for 2 so then this is a very simple step if you tried all the other methods this method must work if it if the other method doesn't work or basically you just can follow this only step which is a very simple process and the first thing you need to do before anything you do attempt is to turn off your antivirus because that's the most important step before you play any game or install any game further so we have actually um, disabled the antivirus so really check it so let's let's go to uh, the game folder for example i'm showing you a gda5 for now just click on it and you will see an error 0xe 0001 click ok to close the application you're all right i will do that and we will try the other one uh, we will try for the um call of duty black ops 3 let's uh it should be the same error yes exactly so why is the same error uh popping up in this in those games which is have you have no idea you don't have any missing files yet you actually discover these errors the only very simple step is that rename the folder do not add any symbols in the folder now let me just do the same thing with gdfi so like this let me open the gdfi for you and here we go Yes, it's working now. And that's how you actually make it happen. Let's just, just go to uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 right now. Click on it. And there we go. The Black Ops 3 is opened as well. Everything is working. Not an issue at all. So that is how you actually clear any errors that's coming up, popping up in your windows. It's a very simple resolution. I hope it actually helped you. So keep on the folder names as letters or names. Don't do anything else. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you'll be enjoying your game now as well. If you like this, give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Peace out.